Pluto, as you've never seen it before, NASA released new photos of the dwarf planet captured by the New Horizons spacecraft. CCTV's Jim Spellman is live in our newsroom with more on these stunning images. Uh, Mike, the images are revealing craters and icy mountain ranges that scientists at NASA are calling mind-blowing. This was the scene at 5.30 Wednesday morning when NASA scientists received a close-up photo of Pluto from the New Horizons probe, the first of many that will form a detailed mosaic. Today, the New Horizons team is bringing what was previously a blurred point of light into focus. This new image reveals a mountain range with peaks jutting 3,500 meters high. The bedrock that makes those mountains must be made of H2O, of water ice. So even before the composition team tells us that they found places where the nitrogen veneer has been uh, eroded or scraped off and we see water ice on Pluto for the first time, we, we can be very sure that the water is there in great abundance. Scientists believe Pluto may still be an actively changing celestial body with geysers and volcanoes. New Horizons also sent back this image of Charon, the largest of Pluto's moons. They've dubbed the dark area at the top of the moon Mortar, after the forbidding region in the Lord of the Rings books. Researchers want more funding to continue the mission by sending New Horizons deep into the farthest reaches of the solar system known as the Kuiper Belt. We've never seen uh, the small icy bodies in the outer solar system that make up the Kuiper Belt, and Pluto is the king of the Kuiper Belt. And so we're going to learn so much about this third zone of the solar system. And NASA officials have named Pluto's heart-shaped region Tombo Regio, after astronomer Clyde Tombo, who discovered Pluto in 1930. Satellite is already nearly 2 million kilometers past Pluto and will continue to send back images for 16 months. Pretty cool, huh, Mike? Uh, pretty cool indeed. And when they start talking about the third zone of the solar system, almost sounds like science fiction. And, and one starts to wonder, why does it take these pictures get back to get back to Earth so long? But it probably makes sense. They're a zillion miles away, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, of course, Pluto is very far away. But there's more to it than that. Pluto is so small that it has very little gravity, which means it would be difficult to put New Horizons into orbit, what typically happens on these type of missions. So they knew they had to get all the data they could while flying past Pluto a single time. So they equipped it with very fast cameras and sensors. The trade-off in weight and power consumption was slow data transfer. These pictures are being transmitted at about the rate of a 1980s computer modem. But so far, Mike, the pictures have been worth the wait. Well, they certainly have. Jim, thanks so much. Thank